we're using it to tee it, we're using it to push. Today, we're going to use that it and the fakes of it to set other things up. So when I'm here, boom, I'm just going to hit the tee. Just looking to touch and stay in position, right? So if I'm here to play, my knee comes up, I touch, I'm still right here. Then all we're going to do is I'm going to bring that knee up, and as I do, I'm going to slide in. So as I bring that foot up, I'm using that slide forward to trap his front hand down. So here, because naturally he wants to block with that hand anyway. So when I'm here, I tap, we move around, right? I bring that foot back up, I march stomp into a, a cross. So we're here, we're moving, up. A little bit, because one of two things are going to happen. The two natural blocks are going to be the hip block here, where they like do the hip slide, or what Clay's doing where they're trying to clear. Either one of those, when I go to fake, is here. Even if he does hands out, I'm hitting that as an overhand both times, regardless of what it is. Because the second this hand comes up, I'm using that down and I'm just trying to arc it and cap right over his shoulder. So when I'm here, I pull that hand down, we're capping it right over the shoulder. If you're in little gloves, it works perfectly. If not, you got to arc it a little more with big gloves. But we're here, touch, into that stutter step, driving that knee up. So that if he doesn't respond, you can still throw this kick. I can always still hit that kick. But the nice part is, it also sets up nice questions on this. Yeah, because I, because even if I'm, I'm not throwing the foot out. All I'm doing is dragging the knee up like I'm flashing a knee. So I'm here. The door will be open, you just have to step in. If it's not all the way open, here, just not get down and step in. Play stop. While I do this. <laughs> I know you have gloves. But when I'm here, you can still power into that. So it's that stutter step of, hey, I'm here. No. Questions on that? Fill her out. One, two, three. That's our left. I'm here with Mr. Raider. Boom. I'm hitting that front teep, right? going well. Boom. I bring that knee up. Same thing. I'm going to use this fake to set that cap. So I'm here. Hey. Hey. And I'm trying to hit it either as a calf keep or that ankle sweep. Keep. You keep to it. Boom. I'm here. And the second that comes up, because a lot of guys bring their hips back, to block this when they do the, because the counter sweeps, if he touches here, right, the average counter is going to be that, right? There's going to be that hip sweep into a punch or a kick. So when I bite this, and he brings that back, that's what allows me to hit that stutter step chop. So when I'm here, pop, right, move, move around, I don't like my front kick. Now, if you're not confident in your shins, Hook around. So when I'm here, step around and try to get that. If you're a little bit ballsier, and you're like, yeah, shin to shin, or you're fighting the shins, and you're confident and you're not going through them, you can stay a little more in front and hit. But we're using that touch there to hit that foot sweep. After that, sprinkle it yourself, but that's where you're setting that up. Question. I wouldn't, because you're reaching. So here's why. Boom. I'm going to clip a bunch of shit on the way through. Now, Southpaw, I'm actually going to hit this stutter and try to sweep it that way. If they're Southpaw, I'm going to touch. Here. And try to hit that sweep. More of that. But I'm not, I'm never going to reach kind of for that back leg hit. It just doesn't work well. You're just reaching. You're going to have a nice... What are you worried about? Oh, 
up, I'm going to that back leg, yes. That's a big part of it. That's why I'm off to this little bit, because if I'm here, I can't feel it. It's really hard to hit me with that right cross. You might get check hooked if my hands are up. So when I'm here, well, hitting that little sweep. If you're confident in your shins, you can stay out in front more. If you're not, here, stepping around a little more as you hit that thing. So I'm here, bop, here, around if you need to. Questions? One, two, three. I'm here with Mr. Raider. Boom, I touch, right? All those fun things are happening. Boom. I'm still going to hit that face to set him up, but then all I'm going to do is hit that touch and go inside this time. So I'm here, foot comes up. <laughs> and I'm hitting that too. So I'm going, boom, I'm touching. Because that should open. Now, if you're in tight, you can change this to an uppercut. If you're a little rangier, hit it as a straight. But I'm here, my foot comes down into that stance. My foot is already peeked out, and I'm ready the second this touches, bop, hit it, shoot it to that inside top. So I'm here. Bop. Here. I fake into that kick. Bop. Into that kick. Bop. Face. Boom. Touch. Because here's the thing. Naturally, that hand is still coming down. Now he's going to be off balance. That uppercut or that straight's going to land. Huh? So is that Nicky Holston special inside the leg? Man, if only that was someone who I understood and watched and studied. Touch. Top three afterwards. Salt pepper that up yourself, but that's the basics of what I want. Questions on that? What? 